Good afternoon students. Welcome back to your geography class. Today in this video we are going to learn about the physical features of the map. What are the features? What are the features that are included in a map? Now the topic is legend. Okay, the topic is legend. What is a legend? We are not talking about a person or an idol or a warrior or any ninja fighter. We are going to talk about the feature that is given to us in a map. Now what is this legend? Now suppose we are having a map of a particular place. Now a particular place might have a road, a metal road, a railway station, a post office, a bank. All these things are there in that particular map. But to represent these places, we use certain symbols or colors so that people while watching these symbols can easily understand that this symbol is referring to that particular place. So these symbols are known as conventional symbols. What are they known as? They are known as conventional symbols. Now what are they for? They are meant for we, for us to understand that this sign or symbol is meant for that particular thing. Road, metal road, kacha road, pakka road, buildings, hospitals, school. They have signs and symbols. Even while traveling also, if you see the pedestrian crossing, we use signboards. Like that, we have that particular column in a map so that we can understand that what is the symbol being used for okay so these are called conventional symbols and these are accepted internationally when I say internationally it means that it is accepted throughout the globe around the globe okay the symbols never change okay even though the color and the structure may vary but the symbols are more or less same in each and every map okay so that was about legend. The next topic is grid. The next topic is grid. Now grid is simply known as network. Network of vertical and horizontal lines. Now what is vertical and what is horizontal lines that we will see now. This is earth. Now we have imaginary lines drawn on earth. This is earth and we have imaginary lines drawn all over the earth. Now what are the vertical lines? The lines which are running from north pole to south pole are vertical lines and they are called longitudes. The lines running from west to east or east to west, they are known as latitudes. Okay, so the lines you can see which are running from west to east or east to west, they are called latitudes. The ones running from north to south, from up to down, that is called longitude. It is very easy to remember these latitudes and longitudes because the word itself gives us an idea that latitude, latitude simply means flat, lat, flat. Longitudes, the long ones, okay? North pole, south pole. Long means longer ones, flat means the flat ones, okay? Latitudes are the horizontal lines, longitudes are the vertical lines. Vertical means that which are standing straight. Horizontal means which are lying on the plane, okay, which are lying on a uh, land or water. Horizontal simply means that which is flat, okay. Now we are talking about grid. Now, what is a grid? Grid is a network. As you can see that these horizontal and vertical lines, when they intersect each other, when they cross each other, that time a block is formed. And that is known as a grid, a network when the vertical lines and horizontal lines intersect each other, that is called a grid. And how is grid helpful to us? Grid is helpful.
because each of these lines have numbers and with the help of these numbers the numbers of latitudes and longitudes we can easily locate a place on the globe as well as on the map okay so that is about grid okay so today we have discussed about the legend and the grid now in the next video we are going to learn about the geographical features the geographical features will be explained to you in the next video so for today please try to learn about the legend and the grid okay thank you have a nice day